What possible benefit could come from the common cold? It's an illness that strikes most people at least once a year, but Associate Professor Darren Shaffron has found a way to make it do some good. What we're trying to do is to find relatively harmless viruses uh, which circulate in the community and redirect them in a concentrated manner to a particular cause, and that's uh, targeting solid tumours. Professor Shaffron and his team from the Hunter Medical Research Institute stumbled upon the discovery during an experiment for a colleague, finding that the cold virus can actually destroy melanoma cells. The group was originally testing the effectiveness of using harsher viruses to attack tumours and was shocked by what it found. Then we stumbled on, we put a, a really harmless virus, which we didn't expect to do anything. And then within, you know, uh, within half a day, this virus had completely obliterated the cells, uh, much to our surprise. You can see that process here. The black arrows show prostate cancer cells being infected by the virus, then being destroyed, leaving normal healthy tissue intact. The field is called virotherapy and is particularly exciting in terms of cancer treatment because it appears to have less toxicity and fewer side effects than traditional treatments. The work on this discovery happens in the Virolytics lab in Newcastle using all sorts of technology like this wave bag. It allows us to produce a lot more virus in a small concentrated area uh, than using a lot more um, incubator space with, uh, with tissue culture flasks. It helps make a product called Cavatac, which has been effective in lab tests and animal models and is now in early phase human trials. The next stage for the technology developed by Associate Professor Shaffron and his team is to seek approval from authorities in the US to initiate further clinical trials over there. I think viruses always have a bad name and uh, I mean, as you know, viruses have been studying the immune system of man a lot longer than we have. Um, and viruses are very good tools historically for actually studying uh, mechanisms within cells. It's estimated Cavatac will be ready to hit the market in the next four or five years. And considering cancer affects 88,000 Australians annually, the magnitude of this discovery can't be underestimated.